what's going on guys welcome back to another randonautica today we are in a brand new location starting out i already got an intense set it's bringing me to hopefully something good um but yeah let's get right into it So we are out here, we are out here as you can see. Beautiful day out, lots of my friends on the water, tons of geese. Just kidding, if you're new here, I hate geese, they're really annoying. Not because, you know, they're doing geese things, because they, they take dumps all over the place and they get on my shoes. <laughs> so yeah, they're annoying. But uh, guys, we are out here today. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. And guys, if you're here, if you're one of the regular viewers, one of the curse crew, make sure to go down there, hit a like, hit that like, hit that share, share this video with a friend or family member. And uh, yeah, helps the channel out a ton. But yeah, we're, we're out, it's a beautiful day. Um, so today we already got an intense set and it is from Erica Atkinson, I believe. And the intent is, uh, as you can hear, we're like in the middle of the city. So like you hear a whole bunch of like noises, people riding bikes, all this stuff going around. But Erica Atkinson's intention that we're doing and starting it off because Valentine's Day is coming up soon is my Valentine. So we're gonna do a couple Valentine related ones and uh, yeah, see what we get. But our point is right over there, right over there on the, right, in, right by that rock somewhere. So we're gonna take a hike over there and see what's going on. See if there's anything there. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is pretty, pretty interesting. I've never really, I'd actually never been out here before. Um, pretty, pretty nice spot, pretty nice spot. So, I think I might have to come up this way more often. Definitely got some city noise going on. As you can see, we're right by cars. Um, yeah, everything like that. There's the geese. Got done. Just taking dumps all over everything. Shooting back in the water for the day. Dude, it's so warm out, guys. It's like 40 degrees out right now. 40, 45. It's it's like I think winter's done, man. Like, yeah, I think I think winter's straight up finished now. Um, yeah, because it's I don't know. It's it, in the forecast. It doesn't show it getting cold again at all. So you know what that means? A lot more randonauticas, a lot longer randonauticas, because uh, the only thing that prevented us from going hard before is just the, uh, the super cold weather. I don't know what this is. It's like a fort. Fort, like uh, oh, that's cool. Let's go tell you, let's go, let's do some investigation. So we're coming up to the point anyways. Just like a cave. Warning, strong river flow. Warning, children must be supervised at all times near the water. Yo! Dude, there's like a, a hole in this cave. I bet, how much you want to bet our intent is in there? I just gotta get a picture of it at least. Oh, that's sick. I don't see anything in there though. Yo, that's really cool. Well, our point is right, like right out here. 
are points like right here. So, I don't know, I thought maybe it was there, but maybe it's up there, like on top of this thing. That's cool though. I wonder why it's all blocked off. But yeah, it's all, I had to go under this. I wonder why it's all blocked off. I think they might just be cleaning it out. Cause I'm sure like, ah, that's why. That's why. Cause rocks have been falling off this thing. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Cause yeah, there's that huge rock there. That dude, that hit hard. That obviously came from like right up there. Yeah, probably was like right where that little V shape is. That's probably why it's closed off. Cause yeah, they don't want people getting hit by those rocks. Dude, that's some gnarly stuff. Dude, like, look at it. He just put a huge divot in the ground. I mean, I get it. It's a, it's a gigantic, thick rock. But it's, you're just seeing like that. Like, imagine that's your head. I mean, I don't think you'd have to imagine. Because I'm sure if you got hit by a rock like that, it'd be lights out, like, like instantly. So, I'm going to go check on top of this thing. Because we can walk up here and uh, see if there's any intent up here. Yeah, the point was right in front of it. I didn't see anything at a glance. And uh, what was it? What was our intent? And Valentine's Day or Valentine or something? Something like that. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot the exact intent, but uh, off the top of my head. Let's go check it out. Hopefully there's nobody up there so I can continue to film. Oh, this is a really cool area, guys. Check this out. Really cool area. This path goes all under these bridges and stuff. Dude, we're gonna have to be doing Randonautic up here, up in this area again. I really like it. Yeah, maybe our intent is up here somewhere. <laughs> Y'all, this is pretty cool. This is actually really sick. Rifle point south. So this is, this is, so this is some sort of landmark, this rock, for, it said Native Americans and some of the first settlers. I won't give the exact location away, but uh, if you can find it, you can find it, you know, <laughs> whatever, come check it out. any points out there they're not points is there any intents i'm not seeing anything because yeah like my the point was yeah right i was standing right there that's where the entrance to that uh cave is and it said the point was right here <laughs> i don't see anything just a whole bunch of trash down there so i was wondering if there's up here there's something. There's something. Looks like it's been propped up, displayed. You gotta be kidding me, dude. It's, it's literally one of the same, those same books that I always find. Yeah. Another one of those wooden books with writing on it, with writing on the spine. See that? Yep. And uh, so I'm assuming when I put these all together, and some of the couple people point this out in the comments too, when I put these all together, it's going to say something. So I got three of them. I can see it's probably it's either an R or a two on here. 
looks like maybe the beginning of an E and maybe an A up here, and maybe an E down here and an N. So nothing, it's pretty nonsensical. But yeah, I bet when I, once I, once I get the other ones and I put these together, it's gonna, it's gonna spell out something. This one is Adventures of Peter Rabbit. So we've gotten three of these so far. We got two smaller ones. I think this is the biggest one we found so far. But here's the thing, somebody must have just placed it here. Like, just, like not too long ago because like, I don't know, like I feel that, like I just had to walk from there. So I think, like I feel that like, you know, in a public place like this on a day that's nicer, that's a nicer day, like if somebody put this here like last night or something, there's a good chance that somebody would have taken it already. Cause I'm sure there's a, probably a decent amount of foot traffic that goes through here on it. You know, especially on a nicer day. So I feel like it, it probably was just planted here to make sure that I received it. Cause they put it up in like a position like that I would find it for sure. They didn't like stick it in one of these holes or anything like that or like hide it like in the cave or hide it like in those rocks. Like it was literally propped up for me to find. Like it was very, very, very bold. Like, look at this, this is where it's at. Hey, shut up. Yeah, shut your mouth, I'm trying to talk here. And then, what a bunch of, it, look at them, they're fighting. They're probably fighting over a, some grass or some rocks. No, I need to eat those rocks. I can't digest food like a like a normal being. I need those rocks to digest food. No, I need them. Ruining my video with their incessant squabbling. Anyways, um Yeah, so that's point one. It's point one. I mean this is this was pretty cool. Point one and ten one. That was pretty cool, even though we got something. Uh, here's the thing, dude. So, I think by now we figured out that these people are tracking me. I think through my phone. I'm fairly certain through my phone. So, but yeah, by now we're, we've... We've deduced that they, they have... They're tracking me through my phone, more or less. But here's the thing, dude. I am far. I'm really far today from... Uh, from my place um, yeah this is not you know this isn't like you know an hour down the road I'm way further than that I had to go dude I'm so pissed <laughs> I am so pissed I left my battery in my car and my camera just died because <sighs> I was like I was like, okay, I got enough, I got enough, I got enough power to, to film this first intent for sure. I didn't. So I forgot what I was saying. Something about, oh, I think I was saying, I was telling you guys how, how I'm like a good ways away from home. Yeah, I'm a good ways away from home. Um, so yeah, they're, the fact that they're following me all the way to where I'm at is... Dude, what is going on with the camera? Look at my eyes, dude. Look at the bag. Dude, I didn't I do not look this bad. <laughs> this camera's making me look terrible. Making me look like I'm about to die. Man, that's a little bit better. I don't look that way in the mirror. Dude, I was like I was like, man, I look like a zombie in this camera. Like, it looks like I have huge bags under my eyes and like I have got no sleep or something. I, or even black eye. No, I'm fine. It's, anyway, sorry. Distracted. Um, what were we talking about? Yeah, so the fact that they follow me all the way up here is like... Just to plant a book as an intention. Just to, just to give me another piece of their puzzle. <laughs> like... So dumb. So it's, it's incredible that these people, whoever is doing this has nothing better to do with their time other than just waste copious amounts of gas following me around 
to plant stupid wooden book intentions. I don't know. It's dumb. Like you're, you, I know you're watching this. You're stupid, stupid stalker. Find something better to do with your time. Let me do Randonautica in peace. Oh, I'm going to waste a ton of money and my time and, and drive up to where Dan's at to leave him another book or my stupid riddle, which is going to say something dumb. Thanks. Thanks. You're really cool. Anyways, that's, that's not a message to the viewers. That's a message to the, the stupid stalker. Um, so yeah, anyways, we're going to set another intent because I didn't drive up all the way, all the way up here for nothing. Well, I, I didn't, I picked some stuff up, but it's not the point. You know what I got, you know what I'm trying to say? We're setting another intent. We're going to find something cool and not something dumb like this stupid book from the stupid stalker. All right, let's run it. All right, guys, we are back out here and uh got another intent as you can see a little bit of time have, has lapsed we're now looking at a little bit of sunset uh it's a little bit darker out um i'm actually closer to home now but uh yeah um some stuff had to came up that some stuff came up that i had to take care of nothing serious just uh you know just obligations um that i thought i could put off until tomorrow that wasn't the case anyways we're back out here again. We are doing Antique, I believe, from Chris W. Thank you, Chris, for your intent. I appreciate it. Antique antique object, Chris said. So yeah, thank you, Chris. Big shout out to you. Um, so yeah, you know how I like finding treasures and antiques. So we're gonna go and see if we can, if, if this leads us to an antique object. And the points just through this, uh, through this brush, I think. Really quiet night out. Still nice. I mean, quiet aside from the cars. It's still like nice out though, guys. Like it's super nice out. Um, great temperature. Uh, yeah, it, it feels good. I'm just in a hoodie with a hat and I don't, I don't feel bad, feel like cold or anything at all. Um, don't even need to use the microphone because it's not, it's not that windy or anything. And this time I did remember to bring a light with me. So uh, well, if we're doing some Randonautica tonight, uh, it won't be, uh, it won't be super, super dark out again, you know just aided by my phone flashlight it should be uh it should be um pretty pretty reasonable so yeah um ew, almost tripped so yeah we're coming up to the point already for antique object it looks like there's really like a lot of uh a lot of uh like deer tracks and everything through here must be, a, must be a lot of wildlife would come through here because you can see like it's all down from them bedding. So that's kind of cool. And uh, we're, we're already to the point. Actually, it's like a couple more feet, but yeah, it was pretty, fairly close point. Antique object. Off the bat, I'm not seeing anything. See, looks like just trash out there, like some paper. You know, it's not looking like anything too serious or substantial, I should say. Yeah, then this brings us like right up by the road. Let's just check out here. Maybe there's, maybe there is something out here. Oh, what's this? I think it's just a bent up piece. I think it's just a fence post. Yeah. I got excited. I thought maybe it was like a tool or something. 
So it really blends in. You can see it now a little bit better. But yeah, I got excited. I was like, oh, what's this? Like, is this like, uh, yeah, I thought it was like, uh, like maybe some sort of tool, like some antique tool, like some something like that. But uh, no, it's just a piece of rusty bent metal. Scary, scary feel over here. This is like Jurassic Park vibes. I don't do I don't see anything. I'm not seeing anything for antique objects, nothing that's jumping out. So I'm gonna take a closer look on our way back. I'm gonna right, walk back. See if I missed anything. I mean, there could have been something like right in front of me that I didn't even see. That's happened before. But here, like it seems like they really like to hide stuff just off the trail. Whoever puts out these intents, they really like to hide stuff. But here it's just like, I don't know, it's, it's just really hard to see anything. Still got like 40 more minutes of light though, so. 40 minutes, 50 minutes of, of good light. And then it's gonna kinda, then it's gonna be flashlight time. It's gonna make it twice as hard to find anything at all, but, you know, we deal with, uh, we roll with the roll with the punches. You know, deal with the uh, the hands were dealt. All right, so uh, I don't see anything. out here or anyone thankfully out here no antique objects so I don't know I guess that's that's oh dude look at this dude it looks like something got attacked right here big ripped up pile of oh it's like rabbit it's like rabbit or raccoon fur yeah it looks like something just got Got messed up right here. Oh, I wonder what it was. Looks like it got dragged back in there. Better from a coyote or something. Or maybe it was a raccoon attacking like a rabbit. I don't know if raccoons eat rabbits, but uh, maybe it's something like that. Still creepy. Still really creepy. Yeah, I'm, all right. Oh. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Uh, dude, I, I literally only saw this because the sun hit it just right. What is that though? If I bet, dude, I bet it was here when I walked by. And I just completely didn't see it because it's like, let's look. Yeah, dude, I would, because I'm like looking at the camera mostly. I'm not looking at my feet. Dude, I walked right by that. I walked right by that. And then when I came this way, when I came, yeah, when I was walking this way, it just, the light just hit it, just a touch and it shined. What is this? It's a, uh, it's a letter opener. Focus, focus on my intent. There we go. It's a letter opener with a duck on it. I like ducks. I don't like geese, but I like ducks. It's stuck in the ground. Dude, this is like, this is really cool though. This is like, that. I think that's real stained glass. Yeah, that doesn't feel like plastic. That feels like real, real glass. Look at that guys. 
That's really cool. That's sick. I'm keeping this for sure. Dude, no way. That's, dude, that's dope. That's dope. I, I really like this. Antique object, man. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know if anybody makes stuff like this anymore. So maybe like custom stuff like Etsy or something, they might have this, but like, dude, this is like legit, like real, real glass. You can see like where it's cracked and stuff. Now let me see if I can get a better shot of it. It'll let me get a better shot of it. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's so small. It's like it like doesn't want to focus on it. Maybe hold on. Let's see if I can change the focus area to the middle. That'll make a difference. Auto focus. Eh, whatever. You get the point. Oh, you know what? There's a table over here. Maybe we can look at it on the table. But yeah, you can see like cracks in it and stuff. Like where the glass is cracked. I don't know. I, I really like this. I bet this is brass too. I bet this is actual brass. Chris, thank you. you. You gave us a solid, solid, you got us a solid intent with that one. Here. There we go. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. Yeah, you can see the cracks in it. See what I mean? Sorry, guys, I'm going nuts over this because I really like it. See, yeah, it's cracked. That, yeah, that's definitely real glass. Yo, dude, that's, that's sick. That's sick. Thank you, Chris. Man, okay, okay. We got some stupid book, but now we got this really, really cool uh, duck, stained glass duck letter opener. I wonder if it's worth anything. You have to like Google it. Hell yeah. All right, so feeling good about Rand Nautica today now, guys. Usually that feeling goes away, you know, after a couple hours because we start getting stalkers and other annoying things. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's something I really like because I like antiques. I like antiques, and for some reason I really like glass things. I'm a big fan of, uh, of um, uranium glass. You guys aren't familiar with that. It's literally what it sounds like, glass made from uranium. And it's like slightly, it's very, 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 very slightly radioactive. Um, not much though, not much at all. Not in, not in an unsafe level. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know. I have, I have some sort of, of, of liking to colored stained glass. Um, I don't know, it's one of those things that, you know, I think is cool. Everybody has their their uh, their things they like and they don't like, but yeah, that's that's one of mine is stained glass stuff. So excellent. Fantastic. Good grand. Um Alright, so that's a huge win. I'm gonna set another intent right now. And uh I'm going to try and get one or two more in before the sun completely sets. Like I said, I think we still got like 30 or 40 minutes of sun now left. So um, we still got a little bit of time before we have to get the light out. I'm trying to get as many in as I can before it goes like completely dark. So let's run it. Okay, so I just decided to set another intent in the same area pretty much to maximize our time. I brought my my uh, radius into one kilometer. I was just over there. Now I'm heading this way. Um, I did br I did bring in the radius just, you know, I just wanted to maximize daylight because at first I set, the, I set the radius huge and I was like, ah, 
if I do that, like by the time I get to the next one, you know, I'm only gonna have like 10 minutes of sun left. So uh, it, it brought us a point though. And um, this is from our good friend and moderator, uh, Jamie Riggle. And Jamie's intention is a uh, dropped item, dropped item. So he found an antique item. Now we're gonna find, hopefully, a dropped item. It's right off of this trail it's about right where that tree is down there. A little, you know, pretty short walk, but right where that tree is, um, supposedly, we might find a, uh, he dropped item. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, you know what we forgot to do today, guys? We completely forgot to do is, uh, um, our hashtag Rananautica to get this thing started. So today, let's do, it's not too late. We're only like, you know, we're not, we're not done yet. So let's do, even though it's, it's the, if, okay, how about this? If you're enjoying the video, write down in the comments, or if you made it this far in the video, I should say, you might not be enjoying it, but you still might've made it through. <laughs> uh, hashtag Rananautica. I don't know. Ah, I'm trying to think of it. How about this? Hashtag the Rananautica stalker is stupid. Let's do that. Hashtag the Rananautica stalker is stupid. Write that in the comments if you've made it this far into the video. Um, because you know what? The stalker, the stalker deserves it. So we're going to antagonize the stalker as much as possible because uh, he deserves it. He or she or them, he and she, whatever, you know, because we think it could possibly be a team. They deserve it. They deserve the harassment. So, hashtag the Randonautica stalker is stupid. I remember somebody got mad at me. <laughs> Who was it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not going to say any names. Somebody got mad at me in the comments once. They're like, don't bully the stalker. Because <laughs> it was on a video Max and I did. Because we were just... We were just having a roast session of Mr. Slippery um, for like a long time. And somebody's like, don't bully the stalker, it's not, <laughs> it's not nice. And we're like, bro, Mr. Slippery literally poured gas and trapped us in a car and threatened to light it on fire. Like, I think, I think we, if anybody, we have, we have earned the right to bully Mr. Mr. Slippery. A car just pulled up. I don't know who it is, but somebody just pulled up here. Gotta keep an eye on it. Anyways, we are right about, right about to the intent, cause it's right where this tree is. It's right here. And uh, dropped item. What could be a dropped item around here? Oh, oh, whoa. Wait a second. Dude, I thought that, I thought that was like an, I thought that was like an actual, uh, I thought that was like an actual cardinal, but it's not. It's not, it's like, it's, uh, it's like some sort of figure. It was just sitting right here. I wonder if somebody like set it up in a tree or something. Like they somehow put it up in the tree. So it was like, I don't know. That's really strange though. Like, um, yeah, it's really odd that, that we found like this plastic cardinal. I think it's plastic. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like anything like substantial at all. It just feels like you know, whatever. That's, yo, bro, there's more of this. There's more fur around here. Like something just got attacked. Yeah, there's more of it. Huh. 
Okay, so, huh, that's weird. That's weird that in both locations we found like fur from animals and we found an intent. Although this one doesn't have anything written on it. It looks rather plain, but uh, huh, it's really weird. Why would this be out here? Like I said, I, I wonder if like somebody tried to attach to a tree, you know, just like for fun or something or whatever and it fell off but uh yeah good good one good one jamie you found us a, a, a interesting cardinal and i think that's the illinois state bird too is a cardinal so that's that's pretty cool but all right we are uh we are two for two no we're three for three we found something three times although the first intent wasn't the one that we wanted to find but we still we still found one um so we got a cardinal we got uh the duck thing and then we got the stupid book so cool i'm just glad we f but what was like i said what was weird what's really weird is that each location something had gotten attacked at you know, that's kind of weird. Like, that at each place, like, we found, like, an animal that had been, you know, attacked. Or signs of it. So that's... That's very, very strange. But, uh... Huh. I don't know what to think of that. I don't know if it correlates, or it's merely coincidence. But then again, you know, we don't really believe... In coincidence, on Randonautica, is everything kind of, you know, everything kind of uh, relates. Excuse me. Yeah. So I don't know. Very, very odd. But that's what we got. So we. What's this? So I'm just coming out. Yo, what's this, dude? I just came back out to the parking lot where I'm at. Looks like another one of those rocks. It is. This is really cool. I'm not gonna show the back of it, just because uh, it, sa it says like the organization and everything, but um, this rock, you're supposed to take it. Like, you're supposed to take this, take a picture of it, and then go hide it somewhere else. So, I mean, it's not really hidden, but I don't think anybody's gonna like really, really hide it, hide it. But that's that's cool yeah that's that's really that's that sounds kind of i kind of want to do it i kind of want to take it to the next uh the next point and uh hide it somewhere but uh you have to do it if it was an instagram i'd do it but it's through facebook and i don't have a facebook so i do but it's just like nothing <laughs> it's, it's it's strictly for buying and selling it's not even my name <laughs> it's just, yeah so yeah i'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother, but that's that's a really cool idea. I really like that. Um, kind of like a treasure hunt in a way. So, okay, guys. Well, um, we, uh, yeah, we uh, found two intense. So, no, we found three intense so far. Found a cool rock. Um, I guess we'll do. I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and set my radius close again. And uh, see if we can't if we can't get one more out of this area before the uh, before the sun goes completely down. I think we can if we hurry. I think we can get one more. I don't know. We'll try. I'm gonna get in the car. Set another intent, and uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, guys. Let me crank this ISO up. As you can see. There's been kind of a drastic shift. Oh, this is never a good sign. Just somebody's shoe is just chilling here. At the entrance of this trail. Anyways, that's dude, that's weird. I don't I don't like that one bit. But the point's just right up here. Ugh, I almost tripped on a branch. And our intent is from uh, Matthew Kelly. 
and the, his intent is something lost but never found. And uh, the intent's just up here, just a little ways. Looks like I could have driven up here. A bunch of trees in the way, but. By a really busy road. Everybody's probably looking at me like, dude, why, what's this dude doing? So, yeah, intense right up here. Point looks like it's, point coincide, ugh, coincides with this thing. There's the geese. Yeah, point's right here. I hope I'm nowhere where I shouldn't be. <laughs> I feel like I'm like on private property. Let's look around real quick and get going. Yeah, points right here lines up with this uh, with this pole, but. I don't really see anything at all. I'm worried that I'm on private property right now. So I couldn't really tell because it said this was like a wildlife conservation area, like over there. But I couldn't tell like right up here. And I know behind here there's a river and uh, there's a conservation area too. But I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna look around real quick. If we see anything, we see something, you know. If not, we'll just move on. Dude, it's getting, you can see how dark it's getting, like how quick, how quick it's getting dark. Should have brought a light out. I left my light in the car, I didn't think I need it. But it's getting darker by the minute now, guys. I don't know. I got a bad feeling, I'm gonna start heading back. We'll look on the way. Dude, look at all the geese. They must, they must be flying to that river right behind me. Yeah, you, it's literally just trash everywhere. And that's not, is that trash? It's hard. And has got a design on it. <laughs> That's weird. I, I literally almost just kicked this down the hill. Salt and pepper. Uh, they are under. So this is just a salt and pepper shaker. That says they are under. What does what does they are under mean? It's got, still got like still got like salt and pepper in it. Or pepper, I should say. What does they are under mean? Why did I find this out here? And how did I find this just like I did? By like, almost by accident. Like, usually when we find something here, because obviously, you know, it's a, they are under, you know, a very ominous, mysterious message from the stalkers, her, her, her. Usually when we find something like this, they set it like, so they know I'm gonna find it. So that, you know, they set it somewhere prominent. They set it somewhere like, okay, you know, he'll, like Dan will see this for sure. He's not gonna miss it. But yet tonight, we get this. We get this and it was buried in grass and I kicked it. And when I saw it, I almost kicked it again down the hill because I thought it was like, I don't know, like a cup or something. And the only reason I didn't is because it had some weight to it. It was like, you know, I could feel like it was like kind of like heavy. Um, that's the only reason I didn't kick it down the hill and possibly lose it. So why would they set this here where I could potentially not find it? 
And I'm gonna open it up too, because there's a stopper at the bottom. I open it up too. They're saying they are under. Maybe that means, and that means there's something in here that I'm supposed to find, and not just uh, not just salt and pepper. No, I, there's nothing. I can see straight through it. I can see straight through to the holes, like where the uh, where they're supposed to come out. Yeah, there's not there's nothing in there I can see in it. Okay. It's very strange. Something lost. But okay, let's think about that intent. Something lost, not meant to be found, I think. Let me let me double check that intent. The the wordage, the verbiage of it. Intent, something lost but never found. So in that, in that way, it makes sense. Because um, this probably wasn't meant to be found. This was probably something that was meant to stay lost. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just, I'm just, you know, talking about nothing right now. Trying to, trying to like, I don't. Who knew? Who knew a? Who knew a pepper shaker, a seasoning shaker, could cause so much confusion? Man, they are under. What do you, what do you think that means? They are under. Maybe, maybe where I found that, it's saying like, like there's something under it. Like it was on top of something. Like they are under. Like they, meaning like something else, like some some other objects or something, was under this. Maybe I was supposed to find they, whatever it is. And well, there, I'm not going back up there now because there's literally, literally no way I'm gonna find the exact place where this thing was set. Or maybe this thing has been set up a while back and it's fallen like from its original place or somebody like me kicked it out of, out of its original place and it ended up where it ended up. And I just so happened to stumble on it purely by accident. But, uh, I don't know, dude. That's a weird intent. And, and a weird message. And it's not written in that red like we get with a lot of these intents. It's usually it's written in that red, you know? Like that red Sharpie. That red, uh, that red pen. And this one's in black. And it doesn't look, it doesn't look like the same handwriting. But this, this, dude, this is, uh, this is a bit concerning. Oh, there's just shoes here. And that, maybe that, that could be the intent too. Something lost, but never found. Somebody lost their shoes, never found them. I wonder what, dude, why is there just, was, okay, if there was one shoe out here, sure. But there's, it's a pair right next to each other. I don't know, maybe, maybe it could be like a missing person or something. I, I don't know. Actually, let's poke around real quick. Let's poke around real quick. I'm gonna just bust out the phone flashlight because it's, Still light. Yeah, oh, there's socks. There's a sock. Just lots of trash, though. lots of litter and trash. Beers, beer containers. Postal service box. Not for private use. I don't know, dude. Seems like there's a lot of weird stuff out here. I don't know, that could, that could be like missing person stuff, for real. Like the socks and shoes, it just doesn't, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. We're gonna set another intent pretty soon. And uh, we're gonna keep this thing going at night. So let's check over here real quick. Got beer bottles. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't doesn't seem like anything else that's like too too suspicious. So, all right, I'm gonna cut this and uh, 
yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue on in a little bit. Okay, I have arrived at the next point, and we have been here before. We definitely have been here before. It's taking us down by some water, and we get started. This intent is from I think Tara McFerrin. Sorry if I said that right. right so, yeah, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> sorry if I said that right. I meant to pronounce it wrong. Oh, let me try that again. Sorry if I said that wrong. Um, but yeah, this intent is from Tara McFerrin, and it's Valentino, like the like the hot sauce. Actually, I think that's Valentino hot sauce. But yeah, we, I believe, have been here before. Yeah, we have. It looks different, though. They definitely changed something about this place. It's right next to the river. I already see something. I already see something in the water right there. Even though the point's over there. What is that? Oh, it's just, it's a lid for like, for like fishing stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that out of the water. Ugh. Yeah, it's a lid for like worms. You can see out here maybe some geese I'm bothering them. <laughs> They're all swimming away from me. They're probably all posted for the night, like, like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna rest, we're gonna sleep now. And then here comes Dan, filming his random nauticas, being loud and obnoxious, and they're just like, oh, we don't get to sleep now, oh. I don't know, is that, is that how geese sound? Maybe, maybe not. I just heard something big out in the water splashing around. So yeah, we're out here. I don't even know what Valent Valentino would bring us. I'm expecting to find a bottle of that Valentina hot sauce. <laughs> I love that stuff so good. Look how high the water is. The river's like right here. Like it's pretty much taken up all the shore. Like there's like no shore right now. Super clear water. Anyways, okay. Uh, I'm not seeing too much. I'm trying not to get my feet soaked because these boots are not waterproof. There's something over there. Looks like it's more trash though. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna find anything out here. I'm not seeing anything. And it's kind of public as you can see. So there's something right there. I'm glad I walked over here. Look at dude, look, look. It's right by that eye. That eye that's been graffitied on there. This is right by it. What is that? Man, I'm glad I walked over here. I would have 100% just completely missed that. For sure. Oh. Now, how do I... How do I navigate over there without getting my foot filled with mud? I gotta stop that bad. See what we found. Oh, it's like uh it's like a little heart. Heart with a fan on it, like a like a Japanese uh fan. And there's another heart here. Huh, so I guess Valent Valentino, I think that was a that was the uh the intent Valentino. 
So it makes sense that we got a heart, especially for like Valentine's Day, and this opens too. Oh, great. Here we go. Here we go, of course. Of course, we can't just find something decent. We have to find notes and all this other. <sighs> yup. Don't forget what we told you. Two hearts joined for one. Don't forget what we told you to. <sighs> and I just, I remember, there was a couple, it was just like a couple videos ago too. I got another uh, heart with a note in it. You guys remember that? It, was, it wasn't long ago at all. It was like, uh, excuse me. It was like, I think like two videos ago, I found a heart, a glass heart with a cork in it that said something similar to that too. It was like, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but it's, it was something along the same. And now we found another heart with another note in it. Don't forget, what did it say? Don't forget who you are or where you are. Don't forget what we told you. Two hearts joined for one. Two hearts joined for one. And there's two, okay, there's two hearts on this. There's a heart there, a heart there. And when you put it on there, it joins into one. So, the symbolism obviously isn't lost on the intent. You know, it makes sense, like two hearts joined into one. But, what does that mean for me? Why should I care about this? I don't know. And another thing I just noticed, it had black Sharpie handwriting on it. Once again, we didn't have the red Sharpie or that red paint that they use or anything like that. It had black Sharpie handwriting, just like that pepper shaker that we found on the last intent. That had black Sharpie handwriting as well. So, I would say that it's probably not a far stretch to think that um, these are from the same people. But what does that mean, dude? Two, two hearts joined to one. Like, okay, like, what's the significance of that? Why am I getting all this heart and blood stuff lately? It seems to be a trend now, like, getting all this, like, hearts, blood, this, that, like. What is the significance of it? Why does this matter? I don't have an answer for that. I don't know, like. Uh, dude, it's, it's just really weird. Really, really weird. All right, well, cool. At least we found something, I guess. Is there a trash around here? There's trash around here. I want to throw this this nasty piece of styrofoam away, but I don't want to be dragging it with me all night. Yeah. All right, guys. So that intense done. We're gonna run one more. So, I don't think that's a, what, a total of five intents we're gonna do today? Oh, that's a lot of intents though. We haven't done that many in a while. But we're gonna run one more, see what we get. And I'm gonna call it a night, so let's do it. Okay, we just pulled up <clears throat> for our final intent. Why are my lights not off? Why? There we go. I'm like, why are my lights not turning off? Uh, we're pulling up for our final intent, which is somewhere back in these kind of woods. And for this intent, this is from Luann Hoffner, and it's Final Affliction. So thank you very much, Luann. Luann's one of our good viewers 
always down there in the comments. So pre big shout out to you, Luann. Appreciate it. Something under oh, just trash. Dude, I'm finding trash everywhere tonight. I'm like, oh, an intent. No, it's just trash. Not an intent, just, just garbage. So, yeah. Um, real nice area out in these woods, though. You can see, like, this is a super nice, like, uh, super nice, super nice area. Like, well-lit paths, stuff like that. And the intent is actually, or the point, I should say, is actually to my right in these woods, so I have to go off the path a little bit and uh, go into these woods somehow. Oh, there's an entrance to the trail right over here. Yo, dude, somebody just there's somebody out there with a yo did you guys see that dude there's definitely somebody else out here with a light and they were just they were just at the point I think, because the point was right over there. Okay. So, what happened? So I just got out here, walked straight into the entrance of the woods, and there was just somebody with a light on. It looked like a lantern or something, I don't know. And then as soon as, when I shut my light off, because I wanted to see it better in the camera, they shut theirs off too. And I think, I think it was right where the point was. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, this is where the point is. And they were right here. Yo, there they are again. Hey. Yo. Dude, who is that? I can't do, I can't see him. Hello? My battery's almost dead on this light. Dude, I don't know what I should do. There's just somebody out here and they're not responding to me. I guess I'm gonna keep going after them, dude. That's sketchy though, dude. They're not, they're not responding to me. And my panel light's about to die. Yup, one, one, one bar, great. I grabbed the wrong battery. So if I jack the light up, it's just gonna, it's just gonna die. <laughs> Great. There they are again. Yo, say something. It's off again. I hear them moving around. I hear them moving around back there. I, I legit think it's got to be that stalker, dude. It has to be that stalker. What I'm worried about, they're trying to, they're obviously trying to lead me back further and further into the woods. Dude, I, I literally hear them back there. Yo, why don't you come on out? I 
I see them. They, they just walked. I just saw. I just saw the 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 flash of the lantern. I just saw it. I probably got it on camera. I just saw them walk up the path a little bit long, a little bit more. Yeah, I just saw them walk up the path. <laughs> Oh. What are you doing out here? What, dude, what do you want? What, why are you following me? Yo, stay back. Say something. Why do you waste your time following me and leaving me these, these stupid ass intentions? What do you get out of this? You're not going to say anything, are you? You're just going to stand there looking dumb. Yo, no sh dude. He was reaching towards his waist. I'm not sticking around to find out if he's got a gun. <sighs> okay, uh... So... What do we think about that? That... Why am I blurry? Stop it. Stop making me blurry stupid camera man <sighs> come on there we go there we go I just had I just had to yell at it a little bit no it works what did we think about that guys what do you what, what do we think that that dude wanted or girl whatever who whoever it was the stalker what do you think the stalker wanted because <sighs> they were trying to get me to go further and further in the forest and I don't know why I don't, and then, and then I came up on them. They popped out from behind a tree, and then just stared at me. Like, which doesn't make any sense. Why they just, why they just stared at me? Like, pff, like this whole, like, the, like I, I, I can't comprehend. Like, ugh, like what they're trying to do. It's just so ridiculous. Like, okay, I'm gonna waste my time planning these stupid intentions, and then. I'm going to waste my time by going out in the woods and staring at somebody and not answering them when they talk to me. To, like, to be scary. It's, it's like, what do they get out of this? For real. It just doesn't make any sense, like, any of these guys. Is it attention? Like, I, okay, I can, I can understand the cult. Because I, I think they're trying to spread their message to the world. But, like, this, like, this, this black mass stalker just... I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I have a feeling it's just it's just all for attention. They just that's what they want is attention. They want to be on the videos. They know I'm gonna put them on the videos, so they just you know bother me. Um, yeah, it's 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 stupid. But dude, you know, that did I, like I saw I saw them like reach towards their waistband though because I pulled out my knife as you guys probably saw when they started approaching me I, I pull out my knife and that seems like that made them stop they didn't like back up but they just stopped for a second and then we were at like an equal distance away unmoving and then that's when I that's when I was like like what do you want and then it's I looked like like they were reaching towards their waistband, which I'm not, I'm not going to bring a knife to a gunfight. Like I'm not going to stick around and find out if they have a gun or not. Um, that, that's, you know, that's, that's kind of foolish, but that's how they made it seem that that's, that was their scare tactic tactic. It worked. I ran away as I'm sure that's, you know, what they wanted. Of course, to me run for me to run away. And yeah, but it, it's just, oh man, I don't know. I'm, o I'm almost giving myself a headache right now trying to figure out what these people want. Like, 
guys, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment and give me your theory of what you think these guys want. Do they just want attention? Is it something else? Or like this one in particular. Like, it just, it makes no sense. Like, oh, I'm going to go stare at you with a lantern. Wow. I'm going to write on some, on some uh, things with a Sharpie and leave them around for you to find. Oh, no. Scary. Like, like, what, like, what do they get out of this, dude? Ah, oh. it's got to be attention. It's got to be because they love seeing themselves on camera or something. I don't know. It was ridiculous tonight. Found some cool stuff today, though, and I am happy about that. So, yeah, on a positive note, we did find some cool stuff like that cool duck. That duck letter opener. I think it was sick. I got it. I got it in my bag back there. I'm keeping that. I'll put it on my desk. Um, but yeah, that was, yeah, so we found, we found some alright stuff. We found some stupid stuff. But, and we saw some cool stuff. We saw that, that big rock that we found the book on and with that cave. That was, that was pretty sick. I like that. Um, but yeah, uh, that does it for tonight, guys. Um, there's not much more I can say about this video that you guys didn't see. Like, yeah, it's just, it's very confusing why somebody is wasting their time going through all this trouble to, you know, harass me. But to each their own, I guess. Anyways, um, that does it for tonight. Uh, I'm done with the video now. Here's the, here's the announcement part and the thank you and everything. Um, guys, announcement. If you haven't seen yet, there is new merch on the Relentless Dark site. Um, check the link in the description or go to relentlessdark.square.site. It is the Cursed Urban merch site. That's our official merch site. Um, we got some cool hoodies. I just put th up three new hoodies. We got some t-shirts. And when I just added to the site, some of you guys might be interested in, I added mystery boxes to the website of Randonautica Intentions. So if you want to, if you want to uh, get some intentions that have been in the videos, go on there, click, click one of the mystery boxes, and uh, I'll ship you a mystery box full of intents and stickers. So if you want you some collectibles from the, uh, from the videos, check it out. Um, and then I'll definitely send you some Cursed Urban and Relentless Dark st stickers and stuff. And then our, we got a $25 box, a $50 box, and a $100 box. And the $100 box, you may say that's a lot. Eh, I mean, I guess it is. Um, but, but, the $100 box comes with mystery merch also. So, if you want to check that out, you can. You will get some intentions, some cool intentions, and, uh, and um, some merch too. So, that we'll pick at random. But yeah, so we got we got new stuff up on the Relentless Dark site. And th guys, those of you who have already ordered, thank you guys for ordering. I appreciate it. And I will be getting your orders out uh, by the end of this week. So thank you very much for the orders that you guys have put in because already a few people have gotten stuff. So thank you guys very much. Um, and yeah, that, that about does it. Uh, big shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. You made it tonight's video possible. Thank you for all you do. And uh, yeah, that that about does it. Um, all right, I'm going to drive home and edit this video and get it out for you guys. But uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I will see you on the next one. I look forward to reading your comments. Have a good night or day, wherever you're at. We'll see you soon on the next video. Peace out, guys.